The senior consultant for Intigems, Mansa Musa Kamara, said the environmental and social impact assessment report across the 20 Lyonko retail outlets in the country revealed that the company's operation contributes to the economy through payment of taxes, income opportunities, and some job employment. However, he continued that there are negative impacts that are likely. On the negative impacts, it is potential, of course, at this point, because most of them are not currently existing and with recommended management plans are expected to be reduced or prevented. There are potential risk of fire in situations where ignition sources come in contact with fuel at the station and also there are potential risk of spills and if such occur, of course it's going to pollute groundwater sources and it's also going to pollute soils and which will have effects on um, downstream agricultural communities. Operations engineer, Leon Oil Company Limited, Melvin Moyboy, said contracting Intigems is one of the company's strides to mitigate potential hazards, oil spill, and environmental pollution to prevent safety and health related issues. Our responsibility is to ensure that we, we upgrade those stations. So we have procured uh, rebranding items for 10 of those outlets. We have just completed three. So, in the very short possible time, we'll ensure that we complete the 10 rebranding. Of course, if you go out there, you can see at Water Street, you can see at Kijimi, in the, in the, in the provinces, when you get to Berry Junction, you can see there are elegant structures. However, there are a few that we cannot up up upgrade at the moment because it has to be a gradual process. The Environment Protection Agency, EPA, has the mandate to regulate companies that have the potential of jeopardizing environmental safety. According to Emmanuel Durin, Environment Officer for EPA, the Lyonko retail outlets in the country are set to receive license even though the outlets must be upgraded. They have looked into environmental parameters like looking at the groundwater, the air quality, and also and we are satisfied with all the parameters captured. Well, if Lyonko is issued the AI license, they will be monitored on a quarterly basis. Every three months, EPA will be conducting quarterly monitorings to all outlets issued the AI license, and an annual audit will be conducted. Upon monitoring, they will be given recommendations, and if these recommendations are not met, then EPA will cease the operations of Lyonko. With the recommendations by Intigems, the negative impacts for current and future operations that are likely to have on the biophysical, health, and socioeconomic environment would be enhanced, if not totally addressed. Salifu Cherna Kamara, AYV News in Freetown.